Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, part three of twelve of our little web series or course or whatever you want to call it of uh, Windows 8.1 deployment using MDT 2013. On this video episode, I'm going to show you guys how to manipulate and configure your custom settings i9 file, as well as do a little bit uh, configuration within the deployment share properties. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually show you guys how to configure or check a couple of features that I like to use that I want to show you guys during this web series. So within your deployment share node, you want to right click, you want to go to properties. And once you're at properties, you want to go to Windows PE. Now within Windows PE, you want to go to drivers. No, actually you want to go to features and you want to check off .NET Framework and Windows PowerShell. By default, the only one that's checked off is Microsoft Data Access Components. But I want you guys to check off .NET work, Framework and uh, Windows PowerShell because we're going to be using those two features pretty soon. Once you do that, we're going to apply and press OK. Now the next thing that we need to do is right click again onto the node of your deployment share, go to Properties, and you're going to go to Rules. Now within Rules, by default, you're only going to have... I, about five variables in here as you can see I added a bunch of them so I'm gonna break it down for you now this is what I normally use for a day-to-day -day custom settings INI file now again the one that I use at work for deployment and for production is more intense but I'm just gonna break it down to you shorter later on in the web series I'm gonna add a couple more advanced videos to this web series showing you a little bit more detail of the variables Again, at the bottom of the description, I'm going to leave a link that's going to take you to my website, and it breaks down all the variables that MDT gives you that you can use during your custom settings I and I modifications. So the first one is OS install, which by default this is what they give you. It's uh, the variable is assigned to yes. You do want the operating system to be installed. Now the user ID, user domain, user password are the ones that I declare. This is actually an authentication level that you want to authenticate during your deployment share. Okay. The next one is skip BDD welcome, which is that pesty little welcome screen that I, I just can't stand it at all. It's just an extra click that you have to do and I, I don't want to do extra click. So I just assign yes on that. Uh, you want to do uh, skip the deployment type and skip the domain membership. The reason that I'm doing a skip domain membership because is I'm not too ready on this web series to show you guys how to add uh, your machine, your deployment machine into the domain controller. Pretty soon I will, so stay tuned for that. I don't want to skip any applications because I do want to choose the applications that I want to install. I do want to skip the summary. I do want to skip the user data. The computer name I don't want to skip because I, on this video web series, I want to actually assign a computer name. Don't get me wrong, MDT does work great with automation, but right now to this point, I just want to show you guys basics to get you guys up and running. Later on, I will show you how to do the automation of computer name. I don't want to skip the task sequence. Uh, your local selection, I do want to actually skip that because uh, during our modification of our task sequence, we can actually modify the local selection, time zone, admin password, product key within an unintended file. Uh, apps on upgrade, I'm going to skip that. Uh, admin password, that's actually assigned within the unintended uh, XML file. Computer backup, I don't really want to back up anything. BitLocker, I'm going to skip it for now, but again, later on, advanced videos, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, configure the BitLocker during your MDT 2013 deployment using Windows 8.1. I've had a question uh, about this and I am working on that so stay tuned for that. I do want to skip the capture again I'm gonna do another video for that so don't worry about that and I do want to skip the final summary and this is a new variable that I added within my MD2 2013 using Windows 8.1 as a final action to shut down. Uh, if, if you have used MDT in the past, you know once your deployment is over, you get a nice little window, a dialog box stating all the errors that you receive or all the warnings or if 
if you didn't get any errors or warnings, you get a nice white blank saying successful, right? Uh, and it will stay logged on. This variable actually just shuts down the machine once the process is completed. I like doing this because if you have a couple machines that you start deployment, let's say at 4.30, most likely they're not going to finish at 5 o'clock for you to go home on time. So deploy it, let it be. When you come back to work the next day, all the machines are shut down. They're not overloading or running CPU process or hard drives, you know what I'm saying? So I like using that. Now, once you have your custom settings i9 file already configured with all the variables that you want, the next step that you want to do is apply it. Make sure that you apply it. And the next step we want to do is edit the bootstrap.ini file. Now, I like to really keep this file very simple. By default, you're going to only get these two right here. I added my skip BDD welcome as well as my user ID, user domain, and user password. Again, this is another level of user authentication that will bypass the the time that you have to authenticate during deployment okay you, you, once you press that f12 and you pick your 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 boot and you it, it's gonna go straight to your deployment without even asking you to log in or anything that's what you want you want to have it a zero touch all right guys once you configure that you're gonna save the file you're gonna press ok and the last step that you want to do is right click on your node and you want to update your deployment share now this process takes a little long because again it's actually taking all your Windows 8.1 files and importing them into your deployment share. Now for me it was pretty fast and the reason why it's pretty fast because I already did a preload of my deployment share earlier. But again it, it takes some time to actually take 3 gigs of information and put it inside your deployment share. Other than that guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments below or questions if you have. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button and stay tuned for part uh, 4 of 12. I think it's 4 of 12. Yeah, and I catch you guys later. Peace out.